time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her cave. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. Kunis describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full scale. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. around all these high towers. location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nayla's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride.
more. Just our luck. Okay, Sly. Head up to the re-education tower. I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork eyes. There's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gun and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward! You're a disgrace to Interpol! I'll make it my life's work to destroy you! Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there! No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now! Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house! I swear, we'll find a way to help her! Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. The clockwork eyes! They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console, so I can decipher its make. Those are the Contessa's elite Shadow Guard! Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. That's... That's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. Alright, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. The war between Neela and has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clock, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo. It should be enough to destroy the shuffler. 
Ark's lock, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. in your binocucom to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts, then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. <laughs>
Okay, Sly, you have all the ghosts. Now just make your way to Dila's HQ and drop them down her chimney. So the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. <laughs> General from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way, as a projectile. Wow, that is handy. Arctic roof gaffer. Pay to him. Great. Now bring it back to the safe house. I marked it in your binocular. General Clawfoot, we've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs>
That's it! I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow! Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo! I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts! Wow! Sounds easy! Not really! Bad mojo is a powerfully dark force! Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for! Wow! Sounds hard! Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Oh, sorry. run out of bad mojo. No matter, I'm one-fourth of the way to a full tank. Physics?
Take that! Hurry up, machine! Excellent! Another chamber in my mojo collector is full! Moving on to the third crypt! There should be a new waypoint in your binocucom. I've only got one more crypt to go. I'm really getting the hang of this. I just sent you another waypoint, but it's kind of buried in the well. Ah, you'll figure it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, the deed is done! With a mojo collector at full capacity, I should be able to blow the clockwork eyes off that mind shuffler! This is going to be great! All right, fellas, let's get down to business. First steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I steal a voice modulator from the castle and under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Fortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hop Contessa's tanks and go to town on the We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the radiation tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglide. Okay, let's move out! on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it.
trap is at the far end of the room. Easy does it in here, huh, pal? Oh yeah, that wiretap is perfect. <laughs> Another set of guards are up in your binocucon. Rob them of their keys to get at the voice modulator. Modulator. This could be tricky.
Like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool.
the god among you. Taste the pain, cupcakes! Lucky shot, cupcake! Cool down those mercenaries for a while. down there when they've got no power. According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the Clockwork Eyes or free Carbolina. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave!
I'll get you, Contessa! Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you! I'll get you, I'll get you. I mean it! I'll get you! Yes, yes, so I've heard. That's one down, two to go. Uh, I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Okay, ready for another session of Hacking Mastery? should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. One more computer and I can get out of here. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow! No! With that old computer powered up, my work here is done. <laughs> It 
it's time to wait castle and in the confusion pull off a heist I've named High Road. First, Murray will take down the on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp and we'll to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free it, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. When the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the bad mojo bomb, and presto, the clothes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defenses, defenses are down. down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge! For victory, for glory! That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. <laughs> Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Let's head for the re-education tower. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. <laughs> do it. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. 
Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should... <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! <sighs> Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Heads up. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. 
That getaway blimp won't save you! First of all, Hades, Sly, can you read me? Uh, Carmelita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate! I'm going down! Down! That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy, and more fun, to pry it from your cold, dead hand. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Shoot at her tank to incapacitate it. She won't be hard, and we'll get the eye. Keep on shelling her to stop that tank! Almost out of commission. Oh yeah! I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight, so why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind.
you've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan. Beaten, and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero dog, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. My surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while.